Hey guys, ETN Sun here from Sunbros, knocking out the one minute ability guide on Freya. Freya's passive is easily her worst ability and one of the worst passives in the game. It occasionally gives her the ability to do extra damage versus jungle monsters as well as enemy heroes. Freya's first ability, Wings of Faith, is probably the best initiator for any off tank in the game. While it can be effectively used to get out of bad situations and even close the gap with fleeing enemies, what actually makes Wings of Faith great is that it's the best initiator for any off tank in the game. Not only does it allow Freya to get right in on the action from a pretty good distance away, but it also gives her her first form of crowd control while it pulls enemies in towards her. Freya's second ability can effectively be used to stun the enemy and jump away when you're in a bad situation, but again its best use is when it's in a team fight. She's able to do lots of damage and a large AoE stun to all the enemies in front of her. One of the commonly overlooked parts of the second ability is the amount of lifesteal that it can provide when coupled with Tooth Greed. Three quick attacks at 2.5 attack speed in a dire situation can mean the difference between life and death for Freya. Freya's ultimate really describes who she is to a T. Lots of tankiness, lots of damage, and allows her to wreak havoc on the enemy team. Freya's toolkit is built around three components. Number one, engaging. Number two, surviving. And number three, wrecking havoc. The correct ability sequence to get the most out of Freya is hitting her second ability, jumping in with her first ability, and hitting her ult upon landing. This combination ensures that Freya gets started off right in a team fight and is able to do her best work. Thanks for watching my one minute ability guide on Freya, and as always, till next time.